What's up, y'all? Peace. You know, I'm out here. He's running around. Doing shit. You know what I mean? I had these shades for a while. Caught this yesterday, you know what I mean? Blue and red. See? I'm representing. Representing my grandparents is from. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done a video in a couple of days, so I'm just kind of rambling. I should be sometime either the end of the week or next week. I'm gonna record some more songs. I, I think I'm gonna do like two hours because it's been a while. So, gotta get this album done, you know what I'm saying? Get it done. Now, I know you see some of my videos, and I know some people are probably wondering what do I know, but. No, that's, I'm just, I'm not, you know, not all of us are, like, ghetto like that hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, I don't smoke. I never smoke, so. So what do I know? I do a lot of reading, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so that's how I know. You know, I study. Just because I never finished college doesn't mean I never I stopped studying, you know what I'm saying? You, you keep learning, you keep, you know. And um, there was a time when I wasn't really, like reading at all, especially around the time I dropped out of college, other than what I was told to read. And because things were happening in that time. And, uh, you know, it was a bunch of times when me, me and my mother could have ended up on the street at that time. So I got my first job after that. After I quit, or after they fired me, actually. I was going to leave, and then they kind of let me go. So that's the way they explain it. I wasn't fired or quit. But that's when, they, like I would say around that, that winter or close to that winter, you know, when I could have found a job and I, I needed something, you know what I'm saying, to keep my mom busy and occupied. I went to Barnes & Nobles, and I picked up, you know, two books. Somebody was just telling me, go to Barnes & Noble, read something. And the first two books that caught my eye was the biography of Malcolm X and All God's Children. Read both of those books back to back, front to back, within a month. You know, that's when, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, I, I got my second job, and then from there, it was smooth selling. One job to the next, and then I stayed in that job for a while, which maybe too long afterwards, but all the while, you know what I'm saying? Doing other shit, doing showcases. I was, other than working, I was, I was reading the books. You know what I'm saying? Even even books that I I, I realized I wasn't agreeing with. You know, I didn't know. I would never purposely buy a book that I didn't agree with. But it's good to know sometimes the other side. You know what I'm saying? But I really, I think what around the time that I read. The biography of Malcolm X and All God's Children back to back. That's when I saw Oliver Stone's JFK movie for the first time. That was the first time they televised it. And I heard about it when I was 13, but I didn't pay no mind, you know, because I was 13 years old. So that's when, you know, I started going in with the books, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and going on the end. Eventually, when the, when the internet came out, I didn't have uh, those kinds of cell phones yet. Where we went out and I didn't have YouTube. YouTube wasn't even out. Or well, YouTube just came out. I would go to the internet cafes and just start looking at shit, you know what I'm saying? Other than YouTube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and that's where I gained the knowledge. That's where I, I really got the bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? You put everything together, then whatever new information that comes out, put it in with the old information, and then you get the whole bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm able to know all that shit. I guess the reason why I'm, I do these videos also, like my last video I did, which was on Friday, because nobody's doing those kinds of videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's videos about what the CIA did to Fidel Castro, but there's no videos about how the CIA supported Fidel Castro and how the mafia supported Fidel Castro in the beginning, because then you see the bigger picture. Then you're not, you're not down with all this left-right shit, fake revolutionary shit, patriotic bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, 
that that shit wasn't about democracy. You know what I'm saying? That the whole overthrowing Juan Batista, putting Castro in power, obviously that had nothing to do with democracy. Or else they would have never put Castro in power in the first place. That shit was about who rules and who's gonna control shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what that shit's about. And I guess, judging by the YouTube comment section and all that shit, a lot of people don't do not do that. They don't step back and, and look at both sides and, and listen to both sides and then get the information from both sides and different, you know what I'm saying? I understand people don't have the time, but you got to make the time, especially if you're on vacation, you know what I'm saying? Some people are like, nah, it's not important. It's important. You know what I'm saying? Because if this country becomes a fascist country again, then you're going to be like, how did it happen? Because you weren't fucking paying attention. You were lazy. You know what I'm saying? You didn't want to maybe voice your opinion or, or start a petition or protest like I've done in the past. You know what I'm saying? I protested against Obama and Bush. But, you know, I do music because I feel like Music is powerful. Music can reach like a lot of people, especially in the digital world. I wish radio was the way it was back in the day and that would force record labels just to sign anybody that's talented, but it's, it's not like, like, like that now. But the, the, the con about digital, the digital world is that, you know what I'm saying? Shit is all scattered around. Like, I have one song that I put out in 2018 before my album dropped. And that song, I didn't even promote it on Spotify. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was promoting that shit mostly in, in Apple. But when I, went to, when I finally opened up my Spotify orders account a couple of years ago, or last year, I think, I realized that shit went viral on Spotify. That shit went fucking viral. So, you know what I'm saying? I was amazed, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, have the dudes that, that put me on their playlist, personal playlists, mostly white dudes that were into, like, all kinds of pumped-up music, you know what I'm saying? Like, real hard rock, heavy metal, and, and some hip-hop. No R&B or pop rock. So, that shit was dope. To me, that's like a... I guess in this era, that's like that's considered like a crossover record. So on another level, it's like my crossover record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and um, I guess I do these videos also just to vent because I got a lot in my mind, and sometimes nobody wants to hear what I have to say. So I put it out on YouTube and let the people hear it, judge it, like it, whatever. I wish I could get a thousand likes on YouTube. My YouTube channel is monetized, so I, I can't get paid. But it's all good. I'm getting paid on my music anyway, and I reinvested into my music. So I'm not making a lot of money, but I make I make enough that I can invest into my next project. So that's important. I, I, so I'm definitely getting streams. I, it's just these streams are like low wage payment. You know what I'm saying? Low wage pay. So you know, but uh, yeah, and uh. That's so all I want to say. Just have to do this little video. You know what I mean? So, uh, catch y'all later. Peace. Peace in the Middle East, for real, for real.